Let's get it sighted. I'm excited. First time shooting 6.5 Creedmoor. What's up guys? Joe here from the Scruffy Fam. Hey, so this is be my first shots of the Ruger American Go Wild in 6.5 Creedmoor. So we're going to give this a try. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get it laser bore sighted for those of you that, um, that this is your first time seeing one of my videos. So the way I do this is I have a real avid uh, laser uh, magnets on the front. Uh, we're going to go ahead and line up the crosshairs onto the red dot right in the middle of the 25 yard target. Um, we are going to get on at 25 and then I put in uh, in my ballistic calculator what I need to drop for at 100 yards if you sight in at 25. It's 2.89 so we're going to just go down 3 MOA once we get over to the 100 yard range and it should put us really close. Uh, so today what we're going to be sighting in with is this Remington Core Lock at 140 grains. Should be getting around 2,700 feet per second. Um, this is just the first ammo that I could get. I do have some Hornaday American Whitedale and Hornaday um, Precision Hunter that I'm going to try as well. Uh, but this is just the first stuff I grabbed. A really good chance just to get on at 100 yards and we'll go from there. Okay, so for the first step is we put the magnet laser on here, and I got my target set up down there at 25 yards. There we go. Okay, so this is a Monstrum G3 6x36 first focal plane. Increase my zooms a little bit, make sure that we are really on here. Now I had this on the 6.5 PRC and I took it off the 6.5 PRC uh, and put a more traditional hunting scope on. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I took, this is really a target scope. This isn't really a hunting scope. I took this off of my 6.5 PRC. Um, because my 6.5 PRC is a hunting rifle, uh, it's a Mossberg Patriot Predator. It's not the most consistent. It shoots really, really well, but it's not the most consistent. Um, I'll get anything from a quarter MOA group up to a... <laughs> I think a two and a half inch group. So a little frustrating that it, it's not as consistent as I would like, but is what it is. So we're gonna load up three rounds here. I'm gonna send the first one and we'll check and see where we're at. And whoa, what happened there? And we'll just go from there, guys. Load it up. <coughs> I'm gonna take my time. Make sure that we are nice. And on our target. Okay. That was stinking close. Wow. Okay, so... That had like zero recoil. That's pretty impressive. Okay.
Okay. So that we just made a stupid small groove. Okay, that should put us. Okay. I'm going to send one more just to verify that this went where I wanted it to go. Um, I just put two in the exact same hole. This is only 25 yards, so I'm not going to put a lot of stock in 25 yards, but that's pretty impressive. And there's like no recoil to this. Now I know why people like 6.5 Creedmoor so much. Okay. Well, that put four in the same hole. It's tearing up the target, so... Um, We'll head over to, we'll take this over to 100 yards and see what happens. All right, guys, we're set up here at 100 yards. Let me show you what happened at the 25. So that's four shots. I fired four times. That was my first one, made the adjustment, and that's three right there. Um, it's only 25 yards, so let's put that in perspective. It's only 25 yards, but it put three in the same hole. So um, let's go ahead and I'm going to load up three rounds of this Remington core lock and we will send these down. So now I have to go down three mils, okay, so, or three MOA. I have to go down three MOA. So that's up, so we need to go, that would be one, two, Three. All right, so I had to go down three, and then we'll leave our windage as it is for right now. Okay, get on our target. All right, there you are. There we go. Okay. All right. So this is now zeroed. Uh, I'm going to let it cool off for a second. Then we'll do a quick three shot group just to verify our zero. Uh, then we'll go home and wrap it up. All right, guys. We're going to do a three shot group now um, and see how this uh, Remington Core Lock does just to verify our zero here. Not bad. Started stringing out a little bit. Barrel's hot, but we are definitely zeroed. I was hitting all around the spaces I was aiming, so let's go home and let's wrap it up. All right, guys, uh, we're back home. Uh, so when I was editing the video, um, the unfortunately the video got corrupted, so I don't have the uh, the target to show you guys. But um, so. That Remington Core Lock did okay. Uh, we got just over a one inch group. It was a 1.12 inch group. Uh, not bad, the barrel was getting pretty hot. It took me, let's see, we did four rounds at 25 yards and then we did six rounds to zero to 100 yards. So 10 rounds total to zero. 
So we put 10 rounds through it, then I waited a couple minutes and put that other three. So not bad, uh, but the barrel was still getting hot. So it, it, the group was indicative of a hot barrel. And for a hot barrel to shoot a 1.12 group, that's not bad at all. Um, so I get the 6.5 Creedmoor hype now. After shooting it, my first shots and first impressions are that it is ridiculously light recoiling. Um, I even said that in the video that is it's very, very easy to shoot. So I get why people like this. Uh, I'm excited to have my wife try this and get her opinion. Uh, what we'll do is we're gonna take our 243, the 6.5 Creedmoor and our 7.62 by 39 to the range and have her shoot all three and see which one she thinks recoils the least. Um, with the muzzle brake on here, so one of the things that you get with this Go Wild Edition is that radial muzzle brake. And the 6.5 Creedmoor is already pretty mild in recoil. So I think with the muzzle brake, it's like an equivalent of seven ish pounds of recoil energy, which is just a little bit less than a 243 without a brake on it. So um, one of the cool things about this is that I could stay on the target. So as I was shooting, I wasn't coming off the target, which is pretty impressive. Um, even with the 36 zooms on this, I wasn't coming off the target. That is crazy. Uh, a couple things that really stood out to me was the feeding through this metal magazine on the Oryx chassis was great. Um, still working on the fit on this chassis system with this optic. It is a very large optic uh, and working with the zooms to see how I like it. But overall, guys, I, I like it a lot. I, I have to admit, I wasn't quite sure what I would think of the 6.5 Creedmoor shooting it, uh, but shooting it is extremely enjoyable. It's very easy to do. I would classify this uh, probably in the same vein as I do the 243 to com be completely honest. I think you could hunt the exact same stuff with the 6.5 Creedmoor that you could with a 243. I know, I know that some people have hunted elk and bigger with the 6.5 Creedmoor. Bullet choice, bullet placement, all those things go into harvesting an animal. But I would say for the general public, I wouldn't go bigger than the deers with this. Mule deer, white tail. Um, that is about where I would stay with the 6.5 Creedmoor. Now that's me personally. I've got bigger stuff to handle the big things, but overall, guys, I'm really impressed. This Ruger American Go Wild, um, the barreled action on this thing, it works. It works great. It, the groups were pretty tiny, which I come to expect out of Ruger Americans. Uh, next thing up is we'll do a ammo test for this. Um, right now I have Remington Corlock, Winchester Deer Season XP. I'm picking up Hornaday American Whitetail and Hornaday Precision Hunter. And we'll try these out of that and see which one groups the best. And then I'll go in the running for my deer rifle this year. So guys, I hope like what I bleh. I hope you like what you're seeing. If you do, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and stand by. We're gonna be hitting the range to do more ammo tests to see which rifle is gonna be my hunting rifle this year. If you guys have a 6.5 Creedmoor, tell me what you've hunted with it, tell me your experiences, and tell me what ammo you like the best. Alright guys, we'll see you next time.